working to foster and grow the arts in Pennsylvania. I'm Jill Horner. This is Comcast Newsmakers. With me this hour is Jillian Patricia Pertel. She is Miss Black Pennsylvania USA 2011. Thanks for being with us. Hi, Jill. Thank you for having me. And congratulations to you. Let's talk a little bit about how this pageant works, and then we'll talk a little bit about some of the goals that you have during your year. Uh, what's the goal of the Miss Black USA program? The goal of Miss Black USA program stems back from 1985, and that is to foster growth and to expose the beautiful talent and education and the heightened element of sophistication and beauty that can be possessed for every African American young woman in the community across the nation. Do you think pageants still play a role today? Why do you think that they are, are still an important part of development for young women, as you're saying? Well, I think pageants are very important, not only to foster that growth, but also because it is a goal-driven organization across the board, pageants, no matter where they are, and they should be. And that is a development for women to follow, to be able to see, think, dream, and be. And what better way to do that than in a pageant for young girls to see young women shine and achieve. Why did you want to compete in a competition, uh, a pageant, specifically designed for African American women? Well, I think it is so very important for our community to be able to see that type of image for that higher education, for that beauty, for that particular development, to see young women of color achieving on a higher level in the community is something that should be praised and applauded and something that little girls can aspire to be. You can can be anything that you want to be in a most gracious and beautiful and intelligent way through this African-American pageant. So let's talk a little bit about some of your goals during your year. You have a platform that's related to the arts and expanding the arts in Pennsylvania. How does this program work? Well, I call it AEP and I call it that's Arts Empowerment Project. And what I plan to do is to foster a greater sense of awareness in the arts, to shine a light on the fact that through the arts you can be anything that you want to be. You could do anything you want to do. Even if you're not an artistic person, you can have a career that blooms out of the arts. And that involves being a doctor, taking care of an artist that's ill, being an entertainment attorney, being an electrician, build, uh, being an architect, being able to build a theater, a fabulous designer to become a costumer. You can be anything through the arts and arts brings joy and arts brings awareness and arts tells a story and our community in Philadelphia especially during these particular economic times needs growth development and jobs and I plan to do that during my reign at least bring not only awareness but a greater sense of what we can do through jobs through the arts uh, through that and through Royal One Productions which is what I've started and through the artistic empowerment project. Now this is something that you're hoping to do not just uh, as Miss Black Pennsylvania 2011 but you're also hoping to do this professionally personally talk to us a little bit about oh. yourself and your, your hopes for your own career. Absolutely I've been an artistic soul since the age of three and I have a degree in musical theater from the University of the Arts and theater and uh, vocal talents and dance are my life and I plan to star on Broadway and go beyond and not only just to have me there but to take others with me there are so many artistic talents in Philadelphia that go untapped and I think it's time to bring that beauteous sense of artistic ability to Philadelphia. Bring it back to Pittsburgh. Let's bring it back to Harrisburg. Pennsylvania is a wealth and a hub of the arts and it's time that America comes back and takes a look at the fact that we can shine. And we just have a few seconds left but you are working toward that national pageant which will happen over the summer. Absolutely, and our first fundraiser will be at the end of January. For that, we hope to have it at the Clef Club, but all that particular information you can find out at www.missblackpennsylvania2011.com. And I hope to get as many sponsors, uh, supporters, as many people as we can to help think, dream, and be. Thanks so much. We've been talking with Jillian Patricia Pertel. I'm Jill Horner.